Hello everybody, it's me Alex the Hunted and it's a bit late I know, but it's finally time for me to answer your questions that you gave me when I asked you to. This is my Q&A video. I didn't really think of an intro for this to be honest. Apologies if I butcher all your usernames, but eh, dyslexic. I have trouble reading names. Anyway, first question comes from Garrett Wright. Do you plan on reviewing the Doctor Who movie? I have actually thought about it. Um, problem is, really, is I've seen it quite a few times and there's not really much to talk about. It's quite a boring movie. I mean, yes, it's got the whole the Doctor is half human on his mother's side, which they basically just got and retconned. They haven't really brought it up ever since that movie. And of course, we have Eric Roberts just awful performance as the master but apart from that it's not it's if you want to see a good review of that watch Nash's review of the Doctor Who movie that's all he can really talk that's he's, he's done it the best I think next question comes from Mechanic Ice have you ever watched Gamera Super Monster no I have not for the simple reason is I don't really want to watch it and I hear it's pretty damn awful and it's nothing but stock footage like Godzilla's Revenge and, well, I don't want to watch stock footage, and I'd really... I only really want to watch good kaiju movies in my off time. If it's a terrible kaiju movie, I'm pretty much only going to watch it for the review. And that's about it. So, really, that's... No, I haven't watched it. I only ever plan on watching it if the wheel lands on it. Hopefully never. But, you know, I can't pick the wheels. The wheel spins are genuine. It is literally... I pretty much finish the script. And then I go straight to the website I used to do the wheel spins, the same one I think I Hate Everything uses. And whatever it lands on, I will review. It's pretty much, that's exactly how I do it. Next question comes from Nixie S Hedgehog 16 This may be just me, but I would like to know what your top 10 favourite gods of the movies are. And I'm not going to tell you, because I've decided what my 3000 subscriber video is going to be. I am basically going to rank all of the gods of the movies from worst to best in my opinion. And it's just basically because I know ever since I've started reviewing these Godzilla movies, you guys have been asking, what's your favourite Godzilla movie? You know which one of my favourite Godzilla movie is, but what do you think of all of the others? And when I come to do this uh, list, I will not be adding Shin Godzilla into this list because I just haven't seen it yet, and it doesn't look like it's going to be getting a UK release anytime soon. So I'm basically just going to have to wait for it to come out on DVD. The next question comes from Travius Smolka. I'm sorry if I'm just butchering your name. His question is, what is your opinion on the upcoming Telltale Batman game episode 2 coming out real soon? Well, I haven't actually played the Telltale Batman game not episode 1, but I have basically watched the walkthrough and it is an interactive movie, so the decisions, while they do obviously do change very much like Mass Effect, it's pretty much watch, you can pretty much just watch it and get the right idea, but what I do like about this is that you actually spend more time as Bruce Wayne than you do as Batman in this game. And I very much like that because not many games really delve into Bruce Wayne. It's more interested in, you know, Batman. I know people say that Batman is the real Bruce Wayne and Bruce Wayne is basically just his, old, his, his disguise, but I don't know. I don't know, I, I very much would like to see more of them just going into Bruce Wayne more than Batman because Batman's really just more of a, to me, he's a very cut and dry character. He's a very ego driven, just, he's a dick. Batman is a huge dick driven by his ego. And yes, he is all about justice, but he's clearly, he's clearly motivated. He's, he's motivated by justice, clearly, but he has that ego problem with him that he always thinks he's in the right, even when he's wrong, and he will never admit that he was wrong. It's very rare if Batman will say I was wrong, but that's the character I always see Batman as. But I very much would like to see them go more into Bruce Wayne and see how he basically just lives his life outside of Batman and all that sort of stuff. If he ever turns off from Batman, which I very much doubt, but I do like how this Telltale game's going and I'm looking forward to episode two. Next question comes from Melvin Slegerman. Slenderman, some Bleisman, something like that, I don't know. I'm just I'm just reading off the top of my head. Anyway, he asks, when you hit 3000, can you review Godzilla's Revenge? Or Birdemic? I know it's already been reviewed, but, but and it isn't really much kaiju related, but it's just a thought. Here's the thing, I actually have seen Birdemic, I even did a riff tracks, basically, just riff on it. 
uh, ages ago, but I had to remove it because of copyright. Um, I maybe one day I might add it to the wheel. I don't know if I just want to. I might review it if I ever think about having a like a, just a breather from just reviewing kaiju movies and just want to review stuff I want to review. I don't know. Um, as for Godzilla's Revenge, well, if it, if the wheel lands on it when I pass uh, 3,000 subscribers, then I will review it. But I only review the kaiju movie that the wheel lands on, and that's how it's going to be. I don't change it, I don't rig it, that's just how it's going to be. So one day, hopefully, I'll review it, because, I mean, I do want to talk about it, because I've got a lot to say about it. Next question comes from ImprovDude20. Have you seen Justice League vs Teen Titans yet? If so, what did you think? I have seen Justice League vs Teen Titans, and apart from it being basically the title is a lie, there's not much Justice League vs Titans in it. But uh, I think it's very good. I think it. I don't think it's great. It could be a lot better. There's some problems with it. Uh, I don't. I don't like how basically Dave, every time Damien shows up, he basically stick, takes over the whole thing and. You know, we've had four movies with Damien Wayne now in this universe of Bat films. I kind of just want him to be a secondary character now. I am, he's a hes a dick. He's not very likeable. I know they're trying to set him up as like this perfect child, the perfect successor to Batman, but he is just an absolute dick. And I, even though he did get some pretty good character progression in Justice League vs. Teen Titans, they still basically pushed him off as the perfect, per the perfect warrior, the perfect Batman. Robin, the perfect replacement for Batman when Batman turns up the cowl and you know, although he is starting to open up, especially and being part of the Teen Titans was probably is only gonna be good for him. I kind of want him to have character progression as a secondary character, and for, and since we are getting more Teen Titans movie, because the next one is Judas Contract, and it is set taking place after Justice League vs. Teen Titans, I do want to see Damien getting some character development, getting some screen time, but not being the main focus. I want him to, I basically, if it's Judas Contract, it should be really about Beast Boy, Nightwing, and Starfire. That's how I see it anyway. Um, so, yeah, I do think it's good. The animation was really good, and I do like the replacement, I do like the new voices for Starfire, Raven, and Beast Boy. The Raven one took a bit of time for me to get used to, but other than that, I think it's pretty good. I do think, of, I am thinking about doing a full scripted review for it as well. Next question comes from Sosiris54, I don't know, I'm just, I'm sorry for butchering that name, but anyway. He asks, Joel or Mike, MST3K? Well, I am a Mike guy. To be honest, I'm a Mike man. Um, Joel is very good, and I can only give him praise for basically creating this show, for creating MST3K, but I just think Mike was a better riffer. I mean, yeah, Joel had the better skits in between movie segments, but I think Mike was just the better riffer when it comes to the movie, and that's what the show was about, so that was more important. And let's not forget, even when Joel was doing the riffing, it was Mike who was the head writer for the show, so he's basically been doing it since he was brought on. He's been... He's really, really talented, I thought. He's, he was he's just... He was better than Joel at it, but... That's not saying Joel wasn't good, he was very good. I mean, he's the person who got the show the show as popular as it did, and Mike just took over and he saved it three times, Mike did. So, you know, I always, if you really, I mean, if you really want to see Mike at his best, I would say look at Riff Track, because that's when he can, he doesn't, he's not, doesn't have to hold back. He, he can, he, do, he can say whatever he wants. He's not limited by a TV show. But yeah, I definitely am a Mike person myself. No, no offense against Joel, he's also incredibly talented, but I just think Mike is better. Godzilla Fan 111 asks, will you keep reviewing kaiju movies exclusively or do you plan to watch movies from a dif different genre? At the moment, I haven't really thought about it to be honest. The problem, the thing is, is like, I love kaiju movies. I just think they're just great fun to watch all the time. I mean, they're very, it's very hard to find a boring one. But it, I, they're always just something fun, and I, I just really enjoy watching them. I mean, come on, I'm wearing a t-shirt with Godzilla on it. But uh, I haven't really thought about it. Uh, I, I mean, I love the James Bond films as well. I might go, get into reviewing those one day. I mean, I've got the whole box set up there. Um, but I don't know. I don't know yet, because uh, really, kaiju movies are the thing I'm best at talking at. 
that Doctor Who, MST3K, Teen Titans and uh, James Bond, they're the real strong areas I'm good at talking about. But you know, who knows, maybe I'll go into superhero movies, I mean there's a ton to, there's a ton of those to review. Next question comes from Gojiren, where he has basically a lot of uh, a lot of talk just telling me how amazing I am and really thank you, those sort of comments I do love and they mean a lot and they keep me doing this because, well, apart from I love doing it, but you know, knowing that you guys love it too makes me keep doing this. Anyway, he asks, how did you discover Godzilla and what particularly made you a fan for life? Well, uh, it's kind of a story because I first started watching Godzilla when I was about six or seven when I, start, when I started going over to visit my dad. Uh, there was a v VHS rental store uh, close to the supermarket that we went to and in the corner they basically had pretty much all of the Showa era Godzilla movies just on VHS and every time I went over I just we just rent one and watch it. I think the first Godzilla movie I ever watched was Godzilla vs Gigan and I mean it's not looking back it's not really one of the best Godzilla movies but that's I think it was one of the ones that basically got me hooked because it was four monsters fighting what's not to love about that I mean it did I mean I can't really remember much of the first time viewing it all I remember is the monster fighting um, so you know it's one of those things but yeah that's really it's really because I just started watching it a lot with my dad uh, was what really got me into it and now I've seen all the Godzilla movies even Oh, apart from Shin Godzilla, but I mean, I've seen all of them. I've seen some of that uh, kids anime sort of counting thing that they made. I've seen that. That was weird. There's a lot of Godzilla I've seen, and I just love the franchise. I know it's goofy. I know it has its goofy moments. I know it has its serious moments. The thing I've always loved about Godzilla is if it's a good movie or a bad movie, it doesn't matter. It's never boring. There's never a boring Godzilla movie, I don't think. There's some really good ones and there's some absolute crap, but it's always fun to watch no matter what type of Godzilla movie it is. Stevie O'Reilly asks, other than Godzilla, who is your other favorite monster? Now this is actually a list I actually wanted to do uh, later, so I'm not gonna tell you exactly who my favorite one is, but I mean, it's gonna be a list I'm gonna do of my favorite monsters that are not Godzilla, um, but well, favorite monsters in the Godzilla franchise that are not Godzilla. So, ones outside of the Godzilla franchise, I mean, I love the Jagers from Pacific Rim. I just think they're awesome. I want a toy of the Gypsy Danger. I've been looking for a toy of Gypsy Danger because I just want one of those. And uh, that's that's one of the things that I just absolutely love that design. And I love pretty much all the designs in Pacific Rim. I think they're just great. Um, I would say that. I mean, I, I, do, I do like Gamera in King Kong, but you know, they haven't really, they never really captured me like the Godzilla franchise did. And but Pacific Rim, I think, really did capture me. It made me feel like a kid again watching. It was just, it's Pacific Rim is one of my favorite kaiju movies. It's one of my I think it might be one of my favorite movies. Just because it's it it may be cliched, it may have its faults, but it's just so much fun to watch. It's brilliant. CS666 asked, would you do reaction videos? Recording the first time you watch, uh, obviously not on a regular basis, but you know, he's basically asking me, do I want to do reaction videos? Well, funny you should ask, uh, because I'm going to start doing basically, again, basically stealing it from I Hate Everything, but I kind of want to start uploading my first time watching the, well, not really the first time watching, but you know, first time watching it for the review of a movie that the wheel lands on. Um, I'm going to, Try it out first, see how it gets around copyrights. I mean, Toho are very, very uh, aggressive when it comes to copyright claiming videos, but I am thinking I'm going to start doing that. Uh, not It's not for the Rodan review because I thought of it after I'd basically done the review and hopefully the Rodan review should be coming out this week. Um, but I think after the movie that, that the wheel hits on next after Rodan, I'm going to basically try and record my... Uh, First time reaction, uh, revering it, I mean watching it. So yes, I will do reaction videos, but only really reaction videos to the movie that I'm gonna watch next because I don't wanna become a reaction channel because there's not really much to talk about, to be honest, about reaction videos. I tried doing one uh, once and I just wasn't very good at it. So, but with hopefully with the Godzilla movies, I can you know, do better reactions with it. So yes, I will do reaction videos, but only for the, re for the next, review that uh, next movie that I'll be reviewing. Ewan Apology asks, is MST3K your favorite sci-fi comedy? Yes, MST3K is my favorite uh, 
it's it's not just my favorite sci-fi comedy it's my favorite comedy ever i mean it's one of the reasons what got me into doing uh youtube videos is mstvk because i just I, I, was, I was too young to watch it uh, as a kid and it, it never really aired in the UK. I just found it online one day. Uh, funny enough, it was when it was, I saw, I found the MST riffs of Godzilla vs. the Sea Monster and Godzilla vs. Megalon. And I gave those a watch and I found them hilarious and I just found, I just watched this show and I was like, this show is amazing. I pretty much watch it once a week. I can't wait for the uh, Netflix revival of the show. I, ho I, I hope it's good. I really hope it's good. I want it to be good because we need a show like MST3K. Uh, I do have other favourite sci-fi um, shows. I mean, obviously Doctor Who I love, but I also for favourite other my favourite sci-fi comedy I would say is actually Red Dwarf because that more is a sci-fi comedy than MST3K because MST3K is more of a riff show. It's just the sci-fi around it's just basically two X as it's basically just for to just explain them watching the movies. It's not really main to the plot in a way if you know. Well, not most of the time, anyway. Um, but yeah, my favourite sci-fi comedy is Red Dwarf. But I mean, and <laughs> we're living in, a, in an era where Robot Wars, Red Dwarf, and MST3K are coming back onto television or and the internet. It's a great time to be alive, honestly. Andrea Duher asks, "What show had a major effect on your life?" That's a good one. I don't think any show has really had a major effect on my life. I mean, there's obviously brilliant shows out there which I love and I talk about. Obviously, Teen Titans, Doctor Who, uh, Robot Wars, all that sort of stuff. I do love those shows, but I don't really have a show that really impacted my life in a way. Uh, I don't... I don't know, really. Uh, I have... There's great shows out there I love, but I don't think there's one that's really, like, just made me go, this is what I want to do with my life or anything like that. Um, no, no, sorry, I don't think there has been, sorry. ADS Stuff has asked quite a few uh, questions, uh, he's asked three questions. First one is, what would you do with a million dollars? A million pounds, sorry. God, I'm getting American. I can't, I can't let that happen. Uh, whew, a million pounds. Well, obviously first, well, you know, there's, there's a typical thing, I'd just spend it all and spend it all on women and cars and a house and all that stuff, nah, not really, no. Uh, what I would want to do, if I could do anything with a million pounds, would be uh, to fund season six of Teen Titans. That's the main thing I would love to do. I don't know how much a million pounds would get into funding an animated series, even just 13 episodes, but that's what I would do with a million pounds. I mean, if Cartoon Network aren't gonna do it, maybe I can. <laughs> give, me, give me a million pounds and I can see what I can do. His next question is, what do you think of the Shin Godzilla trailer? Depends which one you want to. Depends which one you're talking about, because I've actually done a reaction video to the Shin Godzilla uh, trailer. I mean, it wasn't an initial like looking at the video, looking at the trailer and reacting to it. It was more sort of a more reaction review sort of video, and you can look at it right here in this annotation, which I am pointing at right here. Look at it, isn't it great? I'm going to have to work on my editing skills to get this one. Look, it's going to be here, and it's going to be here, and it's going to be here. And I'm probably just going to have one annotation here. There you go, click on that if you want to see my reactions to it. Which of your reviews is your favourite? Ah, uh, I don't know actually, I mean... It's, I've always had a trouble picking favourites, but... It would either have to be Godzilla vs. Biolante review, the Godzilla 1954 review or the Godzilla Mothra King Ghidorah Giant Monsters All Out Attack review. One of those three. Uh, the one was because I kind of just enjoyed watching it and making jokes about it. The Godzilla 1954 uh, one was because I really want, I just enjoyed seriously talking about one of the best, not just kaiju movies, but movies ever made. and. I mean, there wasn't many jokes in that one, but I kind of had fun just talking seriously about my thoughts about the movie and what I thought. And I and the Godzilla Moth for King Ghidorah one was because it's my favourite Godzilla movie. Uh, and I just wanted to show the love that I have for it. Spinor Rex asks, what's your favourite Godzilla kill? My favourite Godzilla kill has to come from Godzilla vs Mechagodzilla 2 when he first gets his Omega Beam, his Omega Spiral Death Beam from Rodan when Rodan sacrifices himself to basically revive Godzilla and give him this new power because that is when you just see Godzilla is pissed and he is showing Mechagodzilla no mercy at all he is just blasting the shit out of it. 
that and also I do love the Godzilla 2014 kill of just the basically the kiss of death you know I, I love both of those but I would say my favorite one is Godzilla vs Mechagodzilla where he just basically blasts the shit out of Mechagodzilla 2. House of Carlos from 1985 asks now that Toho Studios have revived the Godzilla series do you think it's time they came up with some new kaiju to fight instead of him fighting Ghidorah, Mothra and Mechagodzilla over and over? Yes, yes I do honestly because now that they've got Shin Godzilla and it's a huge hit, like I think it's one of the biggest uh, box office successes in Japan currently, now that they have this basically a kind of demon Godzilla and from what I've read, spoilers, that Godzilla, that Godzilla does in a way survive the end of the movie, I do think the best thing they could do now is not have Godzilla fight his usual rogue gallery but come up with new monsters for him to fight, more body horror looking monsters for him to just take on. I mean yes maybe if they do more movies like down the line bring in some old classics but I really think for the, the best thing they could do to carry on for the success is to fight is for Godzilla to fight a completely new kaiju, something we have never seen before. Something that follows along the lines of this body horror mutation Godzilla that we've seen from Shin Godzilla. The Fandom 1000 asks, what inspired you to make Godzilla kaiju videos? Basically one of my main inspirations was uh, the nostalgia critic Doug Walker. Uh, I just enjoyed watching his videos and I kind of just I just thought I would like to do that and just I basically got a cheap it was a cheap digital camera that could only uh, record for 15 minutes at a time before I had to upload that footage to my computer. That's basically how I started out and um, that's how I started doing videos and he was my main inspiration and I have other inspirations of course like Teen Titans and MST3K because I just love those shows and wanted to talk about them. Um, but I also have other inspirations that basically kept me doing this. Uh, like um, Ability Drain, Gamer MD83, Scottish Warrior 92. It was them that basically kept me going and kept me doing this more and more. So I had inspirations to make me do this, but I also have inspirations for me to carry on doing this. And I would just say subscribe to all their channels as well. You know, give them some love because they're the reasons why I'm still doing this. Tom Mack says, I heard that Netflix is considering making Young Justice Season 3 if there is a high demand for it. Do you think we can get Season 6 of Teen Titans on Netflix since it's unlikely that Cartoon Network will do it? I Here's the thing about Netflix, here's the thing I have to point out about Netflix making a Young Justice Season 3 is Netflix have a very, very good relationship at the moment with Disney and Marvel with, you know, Daredevil, Jessica Jones, Luke Cage, all that sort of stuff. And making a DC show, which is Marvel and Disney's main competitor at the moment, I don't know if that ha I don't know if Netflix want to risk harming their relationship with Disney and Marvel, a very successful relationship, for a to bring back Young Justice. Not saying that I don't think it will happen, but in a business sense, I'm not so sure. I mean, it would be great if they could do it. I don't. I want it to happen as well as much as I want. Uh, Teen Titans season six, but I don't know. I don't know to be honest. Maybe I hope it's going to happen, but how the Disney and Netflix uh, relationship is at the moment, I just don't know if it's possible. I'm sorry, but that's just how what I think. A Avatar asks a couple of questions. Who is your favorite incarnation of the Doctor so far, and which version of Godzilla is your favorite overall? First question, my favourite incarnation of the Doctor is Tom Baker. I mean, I know it's cliché, but yeah, I just think he is so good in the role. He, he's the most alien, I think, of all the Doctors, and, you know, it's kind of something I would like to see more of in the current show, is just basically, he was the Doctor who just travelled to have fun, even when it was a very serious situation, he tried to have as much fun as he possibly could. I mean, yes, when things got serious, he could be very serious, and. Tom Baker is just fantastic in the role and you know that look of his is just iconic and I know everyone says David Tennant is the best Doctor but when he becomes, if he just lasts as long as iconic as Tom Baker has as a Doctor then I would say he was the best but no it is Tom Baker who is the best Doctor in my opinion of all time, um, that's just what I think. Which version of Godzilla is my favourite overall? Well, to be honest, it, it, it might be cliche because it's most people's favourite, but it's the Heisei era Godzilla, which is my favourite design of his, because 
it's the good, uh, it's the, it's a, it's very basic I find, but it's very, it feels like Godzilla, it's kind of basic, but it just looks so good. I mean, later on, I mean, early Godzilla is in the show area, but it's, it's a man in a suit. It's not, it is basically a man in a kind of baggy suit with just lots of stuff stick on, stuck, uh, like foam stuff stuck onto it. And Millennium Series Godzilla's, they just, uh, I don't know, I sp like the Godzilla 2000 and the Godzilla against Mechagodzilla Godzilla's, I just felt they had too much on them. The spines were too large in my opinion and, you know, it, it, it they got a bit, they got a bit carried away with, they just over, they just kept on adding stuff to it I think. And the Shin Godzilla I think is okay. I do like the legendary Godzilla. I mean, even with his little stubby arms, and I mean, Shin Godzilla has even stubbier arms. But I think my favourite overall is just the Heisei one. It's the most iconic look for Godzilla, I think, and it's just the best all-rounder Godzilla. He looks... the, the suit is a very well-made suit. It's... I mean, it, do, it does look like at the timing, it does restrict some movements, especially when it comes to the legs and arms at times. That's why some of the fights aren't that great in his era. Like the Godzilla vs. Space Godzilla fight, I don't think, think is particularly that good. It's basically... it is a lot of just firing their beams at each other a lot. But apart from that, I just think that design of Godzilla is pretty damn good. Basically, that's all I gotta say is I just think it's the best Godzilla design there is. Zalitia26 uh, asks, will season 6 of Teen Titans happen? I don't know. I know, I, I'm just a fan trying, hoping and praying that it happens. I have no insider knowledge or anything like that. I don't know if it happens, thank God. I can only, I pray and wish it happens, but I have no, I have no idea. Eli Reed asks, uh, what was your first Godzilla movie? Oops, I already asked, I already answered that. But yeah, my first Godzilla movie was Godzilla vs. Gigan. Not great, it's not a great Godzilla movie, and, you know, I didn't know about all the stock footage, but, you know, it's my first one, it'll always hold all the place in my heart for being the first one, so I might have a little bias towards it, but I, I know it's not brilliant, but... You know, it's fun, it's enjoyable, and that's my first Godzilla movie. Justin Ventress asks, Will you ever do a review of Godzilla Monster Island? <laughs> I've thought about it, but then looking... But the problem is, one, there's very few of the full episodes actually online, and when doing my research for, this show, for that show, I realised that there is 204 episodes of this damn show, and Jesus Christ, I'm not going to be able to watch all of those. I mean, if I watched one a day, that would basically be an entire year of watching the show. Christ, no, I mean, uh, I would love to, but, you know, it's basically a Godzilla show where they use the toys for the monsters. What is there to say? It's pretty stupid and ridiculous, and it looks pretty brilliant. Maybe, one day. Super Fallout asks a couple of things. He says, will I review Shin Godzilla 2016? And what was my first Godzilla figure? I'll review Shin Godzilla when the wheel lands on it. And it has to be able to, I have to be able to buy it on DVD first before I can put it on the wheel. Uh, I don't really want to pirate it because, you know, I want this movie to do well so we can get more Godzilla movies. But I will review it when it comes out on DVD. That's when I'll put it on the wheel. And when it lands on it, that's when I'll review it. My first Godzilla figure, I actually don't have because I kind of wrecked it. But my first Godzilla figure was a Heisei Godzilla that I bought at the Toys R Us years ago. And, well, being a dumb, stupid kid, I kind of destroyed it. Uh, you know, I didn't know who. I just, I played with it. I wasn't very gentle with it. I broke off its tail and his arm. I think his head. And I wasn't, and you know, it just kind of got destroyed by me. I don't have it anymore because it basically got trashed. Uh, but the first Godzilla figure that I have on this, from this uh, table here, is actually this Gigan. I bought it at MCM and its tail is missing. Where's the tail? Ah, there it is. But yes, this is the first one I actually have on this desk, on the uh, shelves. Uh, basically, I just saw it at MCM. I felt I just had to have it because I love, absolutely love Final Wars Gigan. Even though this one is blue, when I thought Final Wars Gigan was black, but apart from that, I just love Final Wars Gigan. I think it's the one of the coolest monster designs there is or ever is, and one of the best 
uh, updates to an old monster, I think. Uh, I, if, if the Legendary series ever put this Gigan in a movie, I would be so happy. I mean, how awesome would it be to see this Gigan on the big screen done with being able to just show off his sword hands and stuff like that? That'd be great, wouldn't it? Sha, 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 sha. Anyway. Guardian Evan asks, please try out slasher movies like Chucky and Nightmare on Elm Street. They would be cool reviews. I mean, what happens when you run out of your run out of things on your kaiju, kaiju wheel? Well, here's the thing: is uh, I, maybe I will try out slasher movies one day, but uh, I don't know. I don't. I mean, it's clear that you obviously would really like slasher movies, but I'm not really a slasher movie fan, to be honest. Uh, I definitely like some of the skills in it, like I do like Nightmare on Elm Street, it's very, it still does hold up, it's quite scary. Um, but, I don't know, I just, I'm not in that area as much as, uh, as much as you, you, you are. And if you love that genre, just, I, I don't want to, uh, do a bad review of something that you like. You know, I try, I always try my hardest with my reviews, but, you know, it's not an area that I know very well. And when it comes to running out of stuff on the wheel, that's not going to happen for a very long time. So I don't have to worry about that yet. When I do worry, when it does happen, God, I will panic. But eh, it doesn't happen yet, so eh, what's happening? What's going? What am I going to do? Oh, Melvin Slenderman has just has gave me another question. Okay, okay, he thought of another one. Anyway, uh, what is your dream Godzilla movie? Ones that have already been out, already been made, don't count. Honestly, my dream Godzilla movie would probably never happen, but I would just love a Godzilla movie very much like Destroy All Monsters and Final Wars, where they basically just, they got all the monsters, all of them, from the Shower, the Heisei, the Millennium series, all of them together, and maybe like have a, an Earth Monsters versus Mutant Space Monsters, just all out Battle Royale. That's my dream Godzilla movie. I just want to see all of the monsters in the Godzilla franchise just slug it out. And, you know, Godzilla's team with Anguirus, Rodan, Mothra, King Caesar, all of the Earth Monsters versus King Ghidorah, Gigan, Mech uh, not Mechagodzilla, well actually yeah, maybe the evil Mechagodzilla, the Showa Eric Mechagodzilla, and they have the, and the Earth has obviously the Earth, uh, the uh, Earth Defense Force robots on their side, but you know, those two sides just slugging it out would be brilliant. In my opinion, I just think just absolute enjoyment and sheer fun would just something like that would just be su such fun, and I just hope it would happen. But it's very unlikely that it would be ha that it would ever happen. Who knows? Maybe it might happen in the Godzilla anime. I mean, it's anime, so they don't have to they don't have to make the monster suits. They can just draw. Well, not just not just draw them. You know, draw animation incredibly hard. But you know, if they had all the monsters fight out in the Godzilla anime, that would be great. But anyway, yeah, that would be my dream Godzilla movie. Jason Todd, who seems to be keeping on coming back from the dead, asks, Can you give us an update on Teen Titans Season 6, please? I can't give you an update because there's nothing to update. I mean, I know as much as you guys. I I don't know what if you think I'm some kind of insider of Cartoon Network that knows what's going on, but I don't. I'm just a fan, hoping and praying that the series continues. Uh, I don't know. I'm sorry. I wish I could give you an update, but there isn't an update. I'm sorry. And that was all the questions that you guys asked me for my uh, q and I gave you a week and some. I've got some questions after that week, but I said one from Saturday and, you know, time to run out. So if I didn't answer your question, I'm sorry. Maybe you'll get lucky next time. But, yes, uh, so, you know, thanks for submitting your questions. I enjoy, I do enjoy doing these Q&A videos. I might do more of them. But, uh, yes, review, uh, the Rodan review should be up this week. Hopefully... It's actually already up by the time I upload this Q&A video, but who knows, time permitting. But I am Alex the Hunted, and thanks for asking me your questions. I hope I answered them as best as I could, and I hope you're satisfied with my answers, and I will see you guys next time. Goodbye. This Mothra is incredibly small in comparison to King Ghidorah and Mechagodzilla. I don't think this Mothra would be much of a guardian. Christ, it'd just be squished. Same with the Destroyer and the Barrel one. Oh well, they looked much bigger in the, uh, in the eBay pictures. Bah, bah. They're very good detail, I will say. This video should have ended by now.